You always emit a frequency, whether you're not thinking, you're thinking, you're sleeping, you're working, you're focusing on something, there's always a frequency that's coming from you. Your state of being has a certain energy and that energy is in, in all of you, every cell, every blood flow, every oxygen, every heartbeat, everything you do in this body is filled with that energy. That energy has a frequency and has a vibration. It is important that you are steadfast in that frequency and vibration and, and know that sometimes when you give into an emotion as a human being, we have emotions, we get irritated, we get, we get to feel all of these lower vibrations feelings and we get to feel all the higher vibration feelings. You just want to be aware of how much time you spend in those feelings and how it's telling you and giving you an insight of how good you are managing them. As an example, if you are dealing with family or relationship or friendship, someone said something, one measure of how good you're managing your feelings is how you respond to a comment, to a sentence that irritates you. Do you react or you respond or you don't? You just, uh, you just ignore it. You don't give in to it. <clears throat> As an example, I am with somebody. I was, some, I was with somebody uh, one day. We are out and we had an encounter with someone we don't know. And that someone said something. And I, it didn't bother me at all. But the person I'm with bothered, was really bothered about it. That the person <clears throat> reacted a certain way. Uh, which I could label as maybe negative reaction and I shared like can't you just let that go and uh, person's like I did not like it and I can't let it go he that that person should not have the blah 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 right so same situation same encounter from afar same experience but different responses <clears throat> and at that moment, I was thinking to myself, no one is, you know, I'm not better than him, he's not better than me, but what is helping me see in the situation is realizing where I am now with managing my affairs. And because the contrast allowed me to see where I am now in my evolution. And the contrast is also allowing me to appreciate where I was or where through the lens of the people around me, right? Like the behavior of the people around me is also just a reminder to me that some my older self was in that kind of version before. And then we have different, we're all one. Like I truly believe we're all connected. We're the same, uh, we're connected through this life force, God force, God angels, we're all connected. We just have different evolution and how do you deal with that, right? So I'm now in, in an evolution where I don't get emotionally triggered. And then I'm in a plane now where how do I navigate this where I am in a company of people who still get emotionally triggered? Like, how do I deal with that? How do I manage these relationships? How do I manage this company? Does this make sense? Because it is very crucial. We, as we evolve and as we realize more and more that we want to stay in higher vibration and we are still with people who are in, in some most state lower vibration, the way they talk, the way they express the words, the, the words that they use, the way that they express and respond uh, their feelings and the way that they respond to situation and your response your expression of yourself is now a little bit more gap than the expression of the of themselves of the people that you love people who you're always with and 
that's another level of learning. How do we navigate this life when that is happening? The good news is there is love. Again, I'm going back to this life hack of if you can manage your, your emotions, if you are aware of the, the energy, the frequency that you're emitting at any time, no matter what is happening to you, that frequency and energy is always going to attract the frequency and energy of, of, of that person. So even if the person or the situation appears to be very negative, there is always a love frequency behind it. There is always empathy frequency behind it. There's always hope, and, and right? But on the surface, what you're seeing are the lower density energy and frequency. But if you keep steadfast in that frequency of love and empathy and unity and hope and oneness, that is stronger than what you're seeing on the surface because that is a higher frequency. It trumps any lower frequency, no matter how blatant it is on the surface, the higher frequency is more powerful. In that frequency, you, you may not see it. It would start connecting to that love, empathy, hope that's beyond what you're seeing. And that would rule over. You get what I'm saying? In our society today, where it is very materially, materi materially attached, where it is very about to the ego, when someone says something and the, per and the person doesn't feel like it's right, they have to answer back, they have to justify, they have to explain themselves. That's kind of our society. Um, and sometimes it becomes so negative on the surface, but if someone even if in, in, in a room there's like 10 people, everyone is just icy cold, everyone is just about the money, everyone is just about uh, all these things that are very material and physical and egotistical and, you know, about the principle. But if even just one person is calm and it's all about love and unity and belongingness, it, that higher frequency could trump and dissipate all of this energy because every person in the room, no matter how they are saying and it's all focused on the ego, there is love frequency in them that just needs to be connected to one love. That's why they say, in the darkness, one candle can light in the room and you pass on that candle. Ah, so powerful. I hope this makes sense to you all.